We are planning to host as an annual event taking place the second Saturday of June. We've got Lumberjacks participating, Lumberjills. We've got 11 different events that so we're hoping to grow next year into a bigger event. The ancient sport of chainsawing. And Bill is going to be my instructor today. Bill, you're going to walk me through the, the safety and the tricks and, of the trade, right? Is that what we're going to do today? Well, the chainsaw is actually a modern day lumberjack tool. As we all know, <laughs> lumberjacking started over 200 years ago. Mostly they used crosscut saws, axes. The modern day lumberjack started in about, uh, you know, back in the 1920s, 1930s, they had chainsaws. Here in 2012, we got some really nice chainsaws and makes the work a lot easier. Fantastic, and we're gonna see a little bit of that. But first, I know safety is the name of the game. Safety is the name of the game. And uh, most importantly, now today we're not gonna be cutting in a forest. We're gonna be doing some fairly easy chainsaw okay. maneuvers. Okay. Basically, you know, basic, some basic stuff. But you still have to take uh, protective measures. Eyes are very, very important. Right. And I've done some of the simplest cuts and you get those little wood particles in your eyes and can't get them out, can't, I'm gonna, I have to go see the doctor. You get a little tiny wood. So the wood dust, eyes are critical. Okay. Ears are next. In any chainsaw competition that they're gonna be doing here in Brecon, Ontario for the Lumberjack Championships, they'll all be wearing ear protection for the chain. As a matter of fact, it's a rule. You know, if you, and it's happened before, a guy uh, starts his chainsaw, gets into the competition, and he has forgotten to put his ear protection on. Exactly, DQ'd, okay. DQ'd. All right, well, I want to I want to be outfitted correctly and properly so that I can win any so, challenge. Yeah, so first of all, here's your chainsaw. We'll get to that at the very, very end. So ear protection is very simple. Sometimes you'll see plugs in the people's ears, and they have uh, certified plugs as well. These are uh, fairly straightforward ear plugs, and we can pop them on you like that, and you're Ooh, starting to look very fashionable look? as okay. it is. Now, and then, now I can't hear you very well, so you're going to have to speak louder. i got to talk while I can go like that as well. <laughs> So uh, actually take those off for a second. We're gonna slide uh, safety glasses on. Now these, okay. it's a sunny day. They are special safety glasses. They're tinted as well for the uh, for the sunshine. So you make them comfortable. I'm gonna put them back on. Actually, here I am dressing you. I, <laughs> I mean, know. you're allowed to dress yourself. Put the ear phone. Okay. okay. Perfect. So you got your ear protection and your eye protection. Yeah. Right? So now, again, what we're doing today is safe, but if you're working with a chainsaw, cutting a pile of firewood, working in the forest, on a regular basis, mistakes happen. And the mistakes are gonna happen because you're more, most often than not cutting below your waist. Right. It's not safe practice to be cutting up here with a chainsaw, like this. Not a safe practice. Well, what's it's, gonna happen if you You'll do see that? some people do that because something called a kickback can happen <gasps> and kick, chaws kick back, right? So more often than not, the safe place to use a chainsaw is down here area, okay? You're cutting trees, you're cutting firewood, cutting right? So you need your legs protected. These are uh, ballistic nylon pants, so chaps. Ballistic. So what? Cha you know, you bulletproof can, too? The same type of material, but these are not quite bulletproof because okay. none of layers. Okay, so these are chaps. Cowboys wear chaps, lumberjacks wear chaps. Uh, you might have to adjust them a little bit because they're my big waist, so I'm gonna make them a little bit. You uh, put them on there. Now you can also buy pants that have got the Kevlar within the legs. These are chaps for someone who wants to take them off, do a temporary cut, right. put them back on, take them off, put them back on. Okay. Now you can... Uh, uh, you, you want me to do them up? You can do them up as well, yes. Okay. Now, two... have... now while I'm doing them up, can we talk footwear? Because I think you already made fun of me for my footwear. For the competition here in Brecon, Ontario, the Lumberjacks, you're going to see them a lot with tennis shoes. Right. Very similar to those to tell you the truth yeah, exactly. they want to yeah but what they will have that you don't have on is they underneath their tennis shoes are going to have a tennis layer sock. of chain mail mm -hmm. chain mail socks and chain all the way up to just below their knee okay one more thing oh yes our safety gloves safety gloves as well okay now what's what is different about these gloves well as a matter of fact they're rubber first of all they're going to keep you warm because a lot of lumberjacking does in the cold weather mm -hmm. wet weather uh, they're going to give you some good grip. Okay, these are not going to stop the chain from going through your fingers. So we want you to leave here with ten fingers. Right. You're starting with ten. Yeah. Ten. Okay. So we want to leave here with ten as well. Your left hand is going to be on the grip right up here. Your right hand is going to be on the throttle. Now the throttle won't go unless this is depressed. So you have to have your hand on here and then throttle. Okay. Once you get into this piece of wood, actually before you get into this piece of wood, you should be full throttle, then get into the wood. If you get into the wood, then try and throttle up too fast, it'll, it won't work as well. Okay. Okay. So this saw has already been warmed up, so I won't have to choke it. I won't have to prime it. I'm just going to turn it on and pull it. Okay. So, so now you're going to be standing with your left foot forward. You know, so now I have a good grip with those steel toe spike shoes. Okay. Hips over a little bit more like this. Okay. 
No, so, you're, uh, you got your wrong hand, left hand up here, right hand here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Remember that earlier, right? Okay, so now keep in mind, it's a sharp saw, it's an engine that can cut wood, so it can cut me. you. Okay. You won't cut your legs because you got the Kevlar pants on, okay? So you gotta be firm, be strong. You control the saw, don't let the saw control you. Right. Okay, so once it's started, keep in mind you've got a powerful engine on, in your hands. Right. Okay, so be firm and be in control. Once you get into this and you, you, you full throttle up, before you get in, you get into that piece of wood and go straight down. Okay, put your right toe in here, over here, over, over here, no, in there, foot on it, hold it down, okay. turn more, keep on it, turn, okay. Put the uh, on switch right here. Flick it? On, yep. Left hand on here. No, uh, your other left hand. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, pull the cord, now be firm with this hand and on your foot, pull that cord hard. Oh, no, no, hard. Oh, hard, hard, hard. There we go, okay. Rev it up a few times before you get your wood. Rev it up. Okay. Now before you get into the wood, go full rev and go down. Go ahead. Couple of pointers there. First of all, you want to use this part of the bar. Just go steady down like that. Don't do that. Okay. This saw, this wood, you gotta know how hard to press without bogging it down. Okay. So what do you think, Bill? Do you think I have a future in the in the sport of lumberjacking? Well it's a two-part question and two-part answer. You do have a future. I don't know if it's in lumberjack <laughs> sports. I do have a, a parting gift for you. A consolation prize. A consolation prize. It's your own chainsaw. Amazing. It's uh, a chainsaw in a bag. And uh, it's actually called powerful. It's one of those things you squeeze like this. Okay. It's not going to cut too much wood, but it will relieve any it'll kind of stresses you have. Finger, right? It'll help your trigger finger and build up your muscles. It's a it's a powerful stress relief. Your own little echo chainsaw. Thank you very much, Bill. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that's it for us here on Open Air. Hopefully you had a blast, as much fun as I did. I've got my campfire here, and all I'm missing now is the marshmallows. Beautiful Brecon, Ontario, and the Lumberjack Championships. Mm -hmm.